let's talk. I've, I have definitely cried over this. Just love people. In simple terms, it fully sucked. So welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm officially a month, a little over a month. I think it's like week six or something. Very much over a month um, into uh, college, into my four-year college. Um, if you don't know already, um, I transferred to a four-year college. So I am a junior now. And, but I did the first two years at a community college and got my associate's degree and basically just transferred all of that over to James Madison University, which is where I go now, and I'm a junior. I am a SMAD major. I don't know if every college has that, but it's, but it's basically um, media arts and design, and my concentration is interactive design, which is very fun, and I, it's just a fun um, like major and like subject to like learn about. That's what I'm studying. That's where I'm going and I basically wrote down a bunch of questions about the whole like transfer process and like how I'm doing and like basically a kind of like a recap or like how I'm doing like a month how how are you a month into college so we're just gonna jump on into it so the first talking point that I wrote down was how was the transferring process honestly it sucked in simple terms it fully sucked like it was so stressful I had to make like a thousand checklists did I get this done did I get this done and like made sure I have like everything and like uh it was insane because I was also doing it while in like my community college like the last like semester or whatever I like had to do all this stuff like and it had to be turned in by like a deadline and like all that stuff so that was very stressful but the whole like getting here wise since I'm still in state like I'm only like three hours away from where I live basically so that whole thing was easy like even my parents now like they're like oh I can just make like a day trip like you're only three hours away like three hours here three hours back like it's not that bad honestly transferring very much sucked um the whole process the whole what transfers over what doesn't transfer over what grade am I gonna be in like it it was just a lot it was very stressful i've i have definitely cried over this yeah i was crying i was bawling my eyes out it just got like i'm a stressful crier like if things get way too stressful and like it's about my future and stuff i cry like i i can't help it i it's just what i do it's just what i do but moving on so the next talking point i have is like um roommates and like being in an apartment i obviously was living at home in my community college like I wasn't like living with people that attend my community college because it was only like 30 minutes away from my house so I definitely was I was commuting basically so now I'm in an apartment with three other girls so four people in the apartment and then three other girls besides me and they're all like seniors so they like they're like 21 and they can like go to bars and like stuff like that which I can't obviously um but in a few months I can because I'm a December baby anyways fun fact so the whole roommate process it's going great right now like a month in I have no problems with the girls I don't think they have a problem with me I also have a cat in my apartment um his name is Draco if anyone's ever watched Harry Potter that's where it's from he has he's a black cat he has no tail He's one of my roommates like foster cats that she just like kept but yeah the whole roommate thing and the whole apartment thing so far has been really good um i've heard other experiences and like, other apartment complexes around here and like people have had like snakes and mice and like just a bunch of crazy stuff and i'm like so thankful that my apartment complex is not like that at all another thing that i wrote down was like sororities in college so i am not in a sorority um i chose not to rush because i already like have a lot of friends that I know that go here and like I'm meeting their friends and I'm like making my own friends along that and I'm like in clubs and stuff so like I'm just meeting so many people to where I don't think I like needed to join a sorority but I know a bunch of other transfer students that have joined a sorority just because of the fact that they probably didn't know anybody else like that's probably the easiest way to make friends in college is to join a sorority so if y'all remember ashlyn from like previous videos of mine she's in a sorority and she lives with a bunch of girls in her sorority so like i met them and they're like all nice and like stuff like that like i have nothing against sororities at all i just simply didn't want to be in one just because of the fact that i'm only here for two years i'm only here for two years i already know people i'm joining a bunch of stuff so i don't have time 
so yeah I'm, and it's like my first year at this college and I want to like learn more about it more than doing that stuff if I didn't go to JMU like if I went to like Virginia Tech or UVA or um, ODU or CNU or like stuff like that I think I would have joined a sorority just because I don't know many people in those colleges as opposed to JME where I know like a bunch of people just off Instagram and just in clubs and stuff. So yeah, that's basically the story of why I didn't rush. Going back to the whole, I don't think you need to be in a sorority in this school basically. Like it's not sorority and oriented. Like you can do things and not be in a sorority. You can make friends and not be in a sorority if that like makes sense. Going off of that, I wrote like um, friends as a transfer student. So again, I had a bunch of friends coming into college. One of my best friends for years, Ashlyn, goes to JMU as well and like I knew her and I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna like meet her friends obviously because I'm gonna be over there. And like I already was like joining clubs and stuff like off of Instagram. So I knew I was gonna make friends in those. But as opposed to like classes, I really haven't made friends in my classes. I genuinely don't know how you make like good solid friends in my classes, except for my yoga class that I'm taking. My yoga class, I do have a few friends in there and they like seem really nice. But it's so crazy because I'm taking like gen eds right now just because I like just got into my major because I had to like wait until like October to do it and it's October so I'm in my major. Opposed, it's like so crazy because gen eds will literally have you being friends with like seniors and like sophomores and freshmen. Like people that are like 18 and I'm like 20 and I'm friends with y'all just because of like we're in this class together. But yes, I think friends in college, not if you're going into college not knowing a bunch of people, I think it's really hard to make friends. But like it's also like really easy because like it d it just depends on like the people you're talking to. Do what you're interested in and then you'll find people that are interested in those same things. If that makes sense. Difference between the two schools like my community college and like a four-year college. So the biggest difference I would say is that professors are like less strict. I feel like my whole like community college I was very much online and now i'm obviously like in person and stuff so going into a four-year college i was like oh my god like i'm like a notebook girly like i like to write all my notes i think i even said that in like the previous college video or something but now i've like adjusted to where i'm more like a computer based girly like when it comes to notes like i've realized that like type easier than i can write now and like I can make things colorful and like I feel like it's just less messy on my computer than it is on like a notebook. So that's also a difference because I was very much a notebook girly in community college and now I'm, I switched over to com like a computer which is really interesting to me. I would also say school spirit is a lot bigger here than it is in a community college obviously. That's really all, like I feel like more or less it was the same except for the fact that like I'm not living at home and like the whole college scene and like parties and frats and sororities and all that stuff but like y'all understand that like i feel like that's just common sense like i was living at home and now i'm not so another one that i wrote was like do i regret the school that i picked do i regret going to jmu instead of like another school i don't to sum it up 100 percent, i do not not at all every day i'm like i love this school but um the whole process and let me like walk y'all through it so my top two schools that i wanted to go to were either here or virginia tech my sister if you didn't know she went to virginia tech she went there for her four year and she got her master's there so six years at virginia tech of me like coming up and like seeing her and stuff like that so i feel like i already got the virginia tech experience kind of like through her so that's why i was like okay what's another school that i want to go to and ODU and CNU are just way too close to home for me. So is UVA. I was like, okay, like what are the other ones? And I was like, well, my friends, I know like the most people here, like at any other college, I don't know that many people. So I was like, okay, so JMU. And then I was looking at my major and like major wise, I have a business degree, associate's degree in, um, for my community college, but I wanted to switch it over to like more artsy thing. So I looked at SMAD, which is what JMU offers. It's a media arts and design program. And there's a bunch of like different concentrations. So I was like, okay, like I love creative advertising and interactive design. Like those were the two that I really wanted to get into. Obviously I got into it, so swag. That's basically what made my decision was the fact that 
I already got the Virginia Tech experience and I kind of wanted to go where I like knew somebody, you know, because it's my junior year. So also the major, the major was a big part of it because it was originally marketing. Um, before I changed like my whole aspect on life, it was marketing and JMU has a great business school. So I was like, okay, like that's duh, you know, but then I wanted to go more artsy instead of marketing and the marketing the JMU offers is more like accounting and calculus and like businessy, whereas I wanted to go into like the creative part of business, which is more like SMAD. So yeah, that's how we got here. <laughs> um, another one was study abroad plans. I'm a junior. This is usually when like, like people study abroad and stuff like that. And I think that's so cool. I really do. And I was honestly thinking of maybe like a summer one, but I just got here. I want to experience the only two years that I have here, hopefully. So I just didn't want to at that point. Like, I think it's so cool and I think it's a really great experience. But personally, I just don't think that's what I want to do right now because I just got here. I'm just settling in. Just not in the cards for me right now. Um, another one is like how often do I see my family and like do I go home and stuff like that. So I haven't actually been home yet this whole semester. I mean this whole month into college. I've definitely seen them though. They've come up obviously. I only live three hours away from like my house so they can definitely come out at like any time. I've seen my sister the most because she went to Virginia Tech games and stuff and then I'm on the way back. So I've seen her like every two weeks since I've started <laughs> freaking call it's just the first time that i actually go back home is actually in a few weeks because jmu has this fall break so we don't get labor day off so we get like fall break which is basically a wednesday through like sunday so i'll be going home for that which is really exciting like that'll be the first time i'm like actually going home i'll be vlogging my whole like fall break so stay tuned for that one um, i haven't felt the need to go home either like i have everything I need. Um, I'm not really missing home. I'm more like missing the people and the people have come to me. So it's not like, you know, I'm excited to go home. I'm excited to sleep in my own bed. It's going to be the best sleep of my life. I'm excited to like do fall things because it's October. So I'm really, really excited. Um, so another one is what do I do when I finish classes? So I'm taking four classes and they're all like gen eds, yoga, psychology, SMAD, and SCOM, which is a, it's a communication class basically. So when I like finish those, because it's only four classes, it's really not that much, but I was told to not do five classes just because I have so many freaking credits from my community college. But anyways, so when I finish homework, I like basically do normal things, I feel like, unless it's like the weekend. Like weekends, we go out to frats, like I go to Ashlyn's house, and like I meet up with all of her roommates and like we go out somewhere or I don't know we take pictures I take pictures <laughs> um I do this I don't know I don't have it I haven't really done anything out of school wise yet I feel like like I haven't been to restaurants except for like when my parents come but yeah besides that nothing really crazy just like the normal stuff I feel like another one that I wrote is about like confidence in college so I will say like the first couple of days or like first couple of weeks here I have been like kind of like oh my god I don't want to throw that away because I have to you know get up and everyone will see me and so one thing about college that y'all have to understand is no one cares like I love the fact that no one cares it's just insane like even my sister when she comes up she's like oh my god I love the college town of like I don't care like everyone has their own lives everyone is worried about themselves like everyone is so wrapped up in their lives and like their drama that they really do not care like everyone's living their own life is what y'all like what everyone has to understand in college like this is what makes me feel more confident just because of the fact that no one cares like no one cares if you need to throw something away no one cares if you have to go get paper towels and clean up a mess like it doesn't matter what you wear it doesn't matter what you're doing like literally just no one cares that's the key to confidence in college i feel like just knowing that no one cares no one's gonna remember you in a day or two no one cares enough to worry about someone that they don't know just do whatever you want do whatever the heck you want that's my key to confidence is that knowing that no one cares and that you can do like anything you can do literally anything that you put your mind to like if you want to go up to a guy and say 
like oh my god you're like really cute or like i really like your shirt like where'd you get it from literally go do it like literally go do it you're one probably never gonna see that person again if you don't do it two you're never gonna see that person again if they say no the last thing that i basically have is um going out the whole like going out scene in college so JMU is a more frat oriented school I would say than a um, bar school whereas Virginia Tech is like it has a lot more bars and like a lot more options and stuff whereas JMU is very much frats like parties in backyards parties in basements and like stuff like that my roommates are 21 so they go to bars mostly yeah we mostly go to frats because we're under 21 as of right now um but yeah that's really all i have about that also all of the frat guys that i have met through like my friends and my like friend group have all been so nice but yeah that's basically all i have to say about that that's all i honestly have to say about the whole one month recap of my like college experience i'll put like pictures and stuff that i took like throughout this semester so far though because i just think it's really cute and I love everyone that I've met so far. I've met some really great people that I really love and like I'm so excited to meet more people and I just know that like these next months and like these la these next two years are going to be so nice and like just so cute and like I love everybody. Oh, I love college. <laughs> Thank you for hearing me talk about my whole college experience so far. That's pretty much the end of my spiel, my whole chit chat with me for my like one month ish into college so i hope y'all enjoyed this video and let me know if y'all have any like other questions or stuff like that you want me to answer um and i'll try the best that i can and besides that i hope to see y'all in the next one bye